Good morning everybody. So I'm going to be vlogging today. I have the busiest, busiest day coming up. Like, you know, you're just not mentally prepared for a day, but you need to crack on with it. That's what's happening today. So it's currently about 10 o'clock. I have a doctor's appointment at 11. Um, you know, people say they have a doctor's appointment and then they never say what it's for. And you're like, oh my God, are they dying? Like, are they okay? Like, what's happening? I'm not dying, don't worry. Um, the doctor's appointment is literally for this like mole on the back of my leg. I've had it checked before and they said it's completely fine, but I'm just gonna go to a dermatologist today to double check that it's okay. After the doctor's appointment, it is all stations go. We are moving out of my old apartment. So that's what this video is mainly about. Um, I remember when I used to live in my old apartment, I used to have so many questions saying, please can you do an apartment tour? Like, please can you show us your apartment? Bloody, 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 blah. Um, and I never really got around to doing it. Plus my old apartment is so, so small. Basically, I was living in that apartment for six months before I went on Love Island. And then a few days before I went into the villa, I had to basically decide if I wanted to keep it for another six months or if I wanted to like cancel it and just like get a new place when I came out. But I thought it'll be good to have a base in Manchester. Like it'll be somewhere where I can like keep my stuff. I'll probably still end up living there. <laughs> I'm still paying. I've been paying for this apartment for six months basically. So let's not talk about that. I've been paying for that apartment and this apartment at the same time for six months. And finally that is coming to an end. So that's good. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a nightmare really, but it's my own fault. I shouldn't have agreed to doing another six months before I really knew what the situation was gonna be. So this happened. You guys have never probably seen me with my nails like this and I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it. This one's already literally molded off. Like this is how crusty my nails are underneath because um, of the acrylics. Like look, honestly, it's just an absolute mess, but we're going for like a new natural 2020. I'm thinking I might get my, my lips dissolved soon as well, you know? I don't know. I just feel like in my last vlog they looked a little bit not really with it. So I'm thinking maybe I might get my lips as old and then redone a little bit or not even redone. I don't know, I feel like I'm just going for this whole new natural 2020 vibe. Like I've literally not even more makeup for the last eight days. So I'll probably give you a little tour of this flat, like show you what we've done to it and stuff, which is literally nothing, but you know, we can show you anyway. Um, but, oh my god, this introduction is going to be so long, but sorry, I need to tell you all this stuff anyway. We're actually spontaneously thinking of moving again. We're not really sure. We're not really sure, just because this apartment is so big. Like, it's literally so big. I feel like when we go upstairs, like, there's stairs that I'm going to look at all my coats I need to take upstairs, huh? When we go upstairs, I feel like this space just feels so big downstairs and so empty. I just, I'm not really sure, like, how, um how we feel about living here anymore. Like we do love it, but there's a spare bedroom downstairs that's literally the biggest bedroom of the whole apartment and we never, ever, ever go in there. Like it's a completely empty space. Like I personally don't really like being here by myself because I feel like it's quite, not eerie, but I don't know. I don't know. We're just gonna go and have a look at a couple of apartments later today as well. So basically I've got so much going on today. I've got doctors, move out of old apartment, go and view new apartments. And yeah, I'm just gonna vlog the whole thing. I'll show you what we go up to. So I've been for my doctor's appointment this morning um and everything is fine with the mole on the back of my leg um the doctor just told us loads about how we shouldn't sunbed and i don't actually sunbed anymore anyway but tommy does which is naughty we're in salford keys at the worst shopping center quite possibly i've ever been yeah. to in my life don't disregard the lorry tommy's been trying to convince me that this area is a really good area to move to um yeah, it is. it's honestly anyone not. anyone doesn't know media city it looks nice that way to be fair no, no, no. That looks nice. It's gonna sound really weird, but have you seen the new Toy Story? New Toy Story? Yeah, apparently it hit the cinemas with some sort of buzz. So I was wondering if you've seen it. No. no? Okay. So I'm not gonna lie to you, this is actually the day after yesterday. So the most annoying thing happened yesterday. I was all psyched, ready to clear out this apartment. We got here, put the key in the door, and then I realized it was the wrong key. And I was like, oh my God, this is so weird because I could have sworn this was the right key. Anyway, so, then I realised that my landlord had actually left the key um, from when he last came to like, check on the apartment. He left it at this restaurant, which was literally about three months ago. Um, <laughs> so I went to the restaurant and they were like, yeah, we chucked that key away like ages ago. Like you never came back for it. And we did tell the landlord to not leave it here because obviously it's like not our responsibility. So I was like, okay, this is great. How on earth am I going to clear out the apartment? Anyway, I went to my landlord's house today. He, luckily he had a spare key and now I'm here clearing out the apartment. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to just get it done um, as quickly as possible. Um, I, it's taking a lot longer than I thought, to be fair. There's a lot more stuff here than I remembered. Um, there's so many clothes, so many like ornaments and stuff, just stuff like that. Like, what do I do with that kind of stuff? Do you know what I mean? So I'm in a bit of a predicament, but I'll just show you around the apartment now quickly. I'm not gonna lie, the weather is really, really bad, um, which was one thing that is not good about having glass windows. It makes it very, very dull in here. Um, but this was the view from my old apartment. It's kind of hard to see because of the rain on a window. Um, but I lived on the 17th floor um, and I had a really nice view. You can see the Etihad Stadium over there. 
Um, normally it's much, much clearer than this, but obviously it's literally throwing it down with rain right now. Um, so yeah, now we need to kind of crack on and start moving everything out. So this is what it looked like inside. This is my tiny, tiny little kitchen over there. Go stand in the kitchen. <laughs> That's literally my kitchen over there. Um, but I never was in my kitchen because I literally, if you don't know me, then you won't know that I literally get delivery every single meal. Okay, so I never really used the kitchen. Um, then those are my bears over there and my little sofa area. But I basically just lived at this desk here um, with my iMac on that table. I just sat and looked at the view and just, yeah, spent most days in Manchester by myself just doing my thing. So through here we have... The, that's the front door there, then the bathroom is in here. So it had like a shower bath, which is one thing that I, I didn't like so much. Like I like having a shower and a bath separate. Um, but yeah, that was the bathroom, really, really tiny. But it was just perfect for me when I lived here by myself. Like I didn't need anything else. Um, then in here, there's like a little, just like a little cupboard um, for shoes. There was a washing machine. Um, I put like all my shoes in there. Normally it was a lot tidier than this when I was actually living here, but obviously, I've not been living here for ages now. Then here is my little bedroom. So it's just a one bedroom apartment. Um, and through here is like a little alcove with a corner wardrobe in, which is so, so filthy. Again, it was just perfect for me. Like when Tommy and I came out of Love Island, we were staying here a lot and he absolutely loved it and wanted to stay here. But it just, I just found it too small. Like that's all my clothes and that wardrobe was filled up and I've it just wasn't somewhere where we could grow into. Like it was just very small. Um, and I knew that we'd be struggling for space in here and I don't want to like get on top of each other in a small space. So this is the blazer that I wore for my Love Island interview and I wore it with like a little black polo neck underneath. Um, and when I went into my interview I was like, oh I look like a licorice all sort. And they found it really funny, so I don't know, maybe this is the lucky blazer, maybe this is what got me on the show. Okay, so this is much nicer now, um, giving you a much nicer look of the view. Um, as the sun has started to come out and the rain has kind of stopped, even though the sky over there is so grey. Um, but yeah, so this is what the view looks like when the sun is out. There are the bin bags of the clothes I want to take back to our new apartment. And then here are the bin bags for the charity shop, um, which I've still got so much more to put in the charity shop pile. I'm literally taking everything to charity shops. Like this whole rail was full, as you saw before. Um, and basically 90% of that is going to a charity shop. And then this whole wardrobe here was full as well. Um, and most of that is going to a charity shop just because I don't like I've not I've been living without these clothes for like a year six six months now and I've not missed them so I just feel like if I'm keeping them it's just for all the wrong reasons what do I do with these bears as well like I just don't know what to do with these bears um like if I take them to the new apartment I feel like it's just going to clutter the area okay, I'm trying to have my 2020 as organized and clutter free as possible and I feel like if I'm just bringing all the clutter from this apartment to my new apartment what's the point like it's just going to make it even worse so I feel like maybe I'll get rid of the bears I don't know I don't want to get rid of the bears I love the bears they've been here for a long time I feel like I just can't do that hey guys so oh my gosh I look like I look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards um it has been a while since I have updated this vlog um so the last time I was vlogging was when I moved out of my old apartment um and I never really like vlogged when um the kind of end process came oh my god why am I out of breath and you've just walked from one side of the room to the other, so that's bad. We just went to film another video and it completely flopped. We were meant to do an outfit video, um, a PLT outfit haul that Tommy picked all my outfits. And we like started, did, did, did the introduction, everything, got on the video underway. And then Tommy realised that when you order an outfit on PLT, the whole outfit doesn't come on the picture. Oh my <laughs> Only one part of the outfit comes. My <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to be annoyed about that <laughs> even though I literally planned the whole evening and the video is meant to be going up tomorrow but it's fine, we're just going to breathe we're going to breathe, it's fine so we got up today, we went shopping did a bit of shopping, in fact I'll show you what I bought because um, why not, might as well so we went into a few shops today we went into Louis Vuitton now these boots do actually have a sentimental um, value behind them because I remember when these boots came out um, about, oh God, when did these come out? 
maybe like two years ago now. When I say fell in love, like these, these boots have been on my mind for like forever. Um, and I know they're a little bit been there, done that. I feel like they are a little bit been there, done that. I feel like I just need to get them in my wardrobe because I know how much at the time when I saw them, I wanted them, but obviously couldn't afford them. So I thought today I would buy them as like a little achievement thing. So these are the boots. Um, I think maybe like Rihanna or it, there was one celebrity that wore them and they literally went viral and everyone was talking about them. Um, these are the khaki ones. So they're kind of like khaki beige and they've got their little print here. So yeah, I got these today, which um, I'm really excited to wear. I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear them with yet, but I'm going to LA in a few days, so I'll probably style them up over there. We keep getting complaints from the neighbors. We put this big TV up on the wall last night, got a complaint from the neighbor, which I do get, because like, the drill was so loud, I'm not gonna lie. Like the drill, when I say the drill was loud, I mean loud to the point where, you know, it was really loud, and I was just waiting for the neighbours to come round. But then, all we were doing earlier, when we got another complaint from a neighbour, was putting something down the bin chute. We were putting stuff down the bin, in, in the bin chute, which is like a very normal job to do. And some guy came out of his apartment and was like, um, excuse me, could you just be like a little bit more like tactile and considerate? And I was like, what, putting stuff in the bin and having a laugh? Because we were laughing whilst we were doing it and we were making noise. Like, sorry, I didn't realise that was illegal. So it's been a couple of days again since I last filmed. Um, I thought I would quickly just do this little mini apartment tour before I pack for LA. Well, I've already started packing for LA. I go to LA on Wednesday. I'm going to London f tomorrow morning, first thing. And um, we have the NTAs tomorrow, um, which is like the National Television Awards, I think. Do I have a dress for that? No. Am I panicking? Slightly, yeah, like I actually don't have a dress and normally for my red carpet looks I'm normally extremely OTT prepared um, and we're actually not this time so it's fine, I've got a stylist coming to the hotel, hopefully she will have something, just currently packing and I thought now would be a good opportunity just to give you a quick look around the flat um, just before I go away for the next few days and then this video doesn't get done, blah, blah, blah. So I'll take you downstairs now and we can start from the bottom floor and work our way up. I haven't really tidied up to do this tour because it's a realistic tour and because it's a realistic tour, we're not gonna move things. Um, so this is our little hallway. This isn't gonna be like a really in-depth tour by the way. This is just like a little mini look at the apartment just because everyone keeps asking. So this is kind of like our dining room area, I would say. This is kind of like a very large part of the apartment that. I guess we don't really use it, like that's why there's like a few boxes there and stuff. Um, there's my attempt at drying the washing. Um, our washing machine's been spitting out this like weird white fluff recently on all of the clothes, which means I've been having to wash things twice. All the furniture that you will see in this apartment is from Arigi Bianchi. Um, we literally love our furniture. Tommy actually picked this. He said he wanted a table like, what did you say, like Merlin's? King Arthur. King Arthur, that's it. I don't know, what is this mirror? That's definitely not meant to be there. This is our mirror, again, from Mariki Bianchi. That lamp's not meant to be there. The lamp's actually meant to be there. Oh my God, this job makes me look so fat. This lamp's not actually meant to be This lamp's meant to be here, but we've been like reorganizing because we had this telly, well, we actually put this telly up the other day. Um, so it's all been organized. Um, this is our sofa, again, from Mariki Bianchi. Um, and then our little coffee table's here from Mariki Bianchi as well. So this space was never really used, but we are using it a bit more now that we've got the TV there. This is our kitchen, <laughs> a little bit messy. Um, I need to, We'll do a little bit of a tidy up, but we don't, again, we don't really use the kitchen that much. It's a rented, obviously it's a rented apartment. We don't want to do loads of stuff to it because there's just no point. Um, this is our fridge, probably the most boring, awful fridge you've ever seen. Like, look at this orange juice. What, what is, what is that? This is our meal preps in here. Um, yes, that's our fridge. We don't really want to do too much to the apartment because there really is no point. Um, we're not going to be staying here for that much longer. So then this is our, our stairs. Go here so this is what the apartment looks like from the staircase and then up here we have like a little glass balcony bit and then like a window that goes into my dressing room which i'll go and show you now this is actually part of the sofa from downstairs but um we thought it was going to fit in that space down there well tommy did and i was like that space is like way too small to hold this sofa like it's definitely not going to fit so we had to like cut the sofa up and put the sofa that wouldn't fit the parts of the sofa that wouldn't fit down there up here but it kind of worked because we wanted a sofa up here anyway so that doesn't bother us. Then in here is my dressing room now. Normally the floor is clear, but I'm currently packing for LA. So this is what my dressing room looks like. Um, I get so many questions asking to show this room and like show you guys around. So yeah, this is what it looks like. This was originally meant to be Tommy's wardrobe, <laughs> but I don't know why I thought that this wardrobe space over here was gonna be enough um, for me. My coats had to go in here. So 
got a lot of coats and then yeah this is my wardrobe space I kind of wanted to leave this area here for like styling outfits in which I do do sometimes and then over here I just had those drawers built the other day which I put on my Instagram story my iMac and then just a few bits and bobs and this is where I normally film my YouTube videos so that's my dressing room through here we have the master bedroom so it looks like this Yes, we do have teddy bears on the bed um, because even though we are 20 years of age, we do like teddy bears and we are not ashamed of that. Um, they all have a very sentimental value. Ellie Belly is here, obviously taking prime position on the bed. Um, we actually like to keep these blinds shut. There are, there are three nice big windows here, but we do like to keep these shut just because there's like a weird neighbour that's moved in next door. Um, there was like an abandoned apartment next door that was like completely empty. It was always black, like no one was ever in there, um, which was scary in itself. But then someone's moved in recently and it's honestly so scary. Like sometimes we just see like their head bopping up and down like, and their apartment is so like dirty and like got loads of stuff in it. It's just a little bit scary. So we just keep the blinds shut just so we don't see that. Um, and then in here, is Tommy's place where he keeps his clothes. There's also another bedroom downstairs where he keeps his clothes, which I will probably, I wasn't gonna show you, but I probably will show you. And then through here, and Tommy's doing the poo. Then through here is our bathroom, so. Was that a nice poo? Lovely. <laughs> oh my God, it hands. stinks! I did wash my hands as well. It stinks, you didn't put the toilet seat down. You know oh my God, the skids! Oh, come on here, trying to be all this posh, you didn't put the toilet seat down. You having a laugh? This woman leaves skid marks everywhere. <laughs> hey, one, two, three, th four bathrooms in here. Every single one's got skids because of this woman. <laughs> it doesn't. It's horrible. <laughs> You're lying. But yeah, this is the bathroom. Um, this is like just where we keep our like toiletries and stuff. And then here is the sauna, which is so random. We have four bathrooms in this place. We don't have a bath, but it has a sauna, which I find so random but we do actually use it to be fair we used it two nights ago um this is the shower gym we need to get like, lampshades and stuff but again like we don't want to do too much stuff to it because there's just no point really um there's a mammoth amount of washing there that i need to carry on doing um, and then i'll just go down now and show you the other bedroom i'm not gonna lie to you the biggest bedroom of them all is actually through this door which is um just off the hallway when you first come in um, but I wasn't going to show you this bedroom just because it's actually mortifying the state of it. But you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to show you anyway. So, so, so this is the third bedroom. Now, what looks like an absolute disgust and chaotic mess is actually more organised than you would think. Um, this is all for the charity shop. Um, so obviously I moved out of my apartment the other day um, and I had a lot of stuff for the charity shop and when I say a lot of stuff I mean this is the amount of stuff that needs to go to the charity shop um, which is literally insane. I'm kind of using this as a storage room right now until we find the time to, to get all the stuff to a charity shop because we need to get somebody with a van who can take us and then take all this stuff. There's no point me hiding that from you because that's the reality right now. So yeah, that is what the apartment looks like. We do get so many questions asking to see the apartment and stuff. And um, I guess we haven't really done it yet because one, we weren't really sure if we wanted to like properly show it, but then you guys have seen so much of our apartment anyway from like stories and stuff. Um, even when we did that shoot for OK Magazine, they showed a lot of our apartment anyway. Um, so I think most of you guys have probably already seen a lot of our apartment. Like we don't really want to do too much to it just because like any money that we put into this apartment, we're not going to get back. Like it's not our apartment. Like we would absolutely love to buy this apartment we say it all the time like if this apartment was ours like the things i would do to it like i would make it so 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 lovely but there is actually no point throwing money into it because you're just never going to get it back so for now we're just kind of going to like stay in it the way it is and just like make do like it's definitely not perfect it's definitely not like a show home or anything like that the only money that i've really put into this apartment is this wardrobe room just because i wanted to have like a proper space even though we weren't going to stay here for that long I just wanted to make sure like I had a nice space to like, I don't know, just like relax in, like have all my clothes in and stuff. Oh, also I forgot to show you through here, next to the wardrobe, next to the coat wardrobe, it's just a little bathroom through here. So that's like a little ensuite. So yeah, that's it really. That's it for everyone that wanted to see um, our apartment. There you have it. Never really sure what we want to do with this apartment. We've actually been viewing a few houses as well recently um, because we do want to buy a house, but it's just really hard trying to find the right house. Obviously, we need to move out of Man Manchester city centre to find a good house. But, like, oh, I don't know. I, just, I don't know if I'm ready to move out of the city just yet because I do love living in the city. Um, so, yeah, that's it, really. I guess I'm just going to close the video off here because it's been a pretty long video, I think. Um, 
for me, a long video is like over 16 minutes. I feel like that's long because I know as w watching YouTube, any video is longer than 16, 17 minutes. I'm like, oh, that's a long video. Whereas people get annoyed at me when I don't do long videos. When I, when I do like 11 minute videos, people are like, why is this video so short? I'm like, am I the only person that doesn't like to sit through really, really long videos? Like when I see YouTubers putting up 45 minute videos, I'm like, do you think I have the time to like watch a 45 minute video? Like this isn't a Netflix series. Like I don't have the time to watch this. Um, so I kind of just keep mine short and sweet and then do like a long one every once in a while. Um, but let me know how you think about that. Anyway, um, I'm going to close the video off. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Um, I'm off to LA in a few days, as I said, so I'll definitely be vlogging that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I will see you all in my next one. Love ya!